Hitman has always been a quite a realistic game, and we try to take that even further with with this one. And that goes both for the gameplay uh, and the, the architecture and all the items around you. Also, the the all the levels are based on real life locations, and either it's specific buildings or it's specific parts of a, of a town that we sent teams out to research and um, the architects take whatever they can uh, from real life or uh, uh, specific buildings or or monuments or whatever and model it in to fit with the with the level design we have uh, huge photo libraries from for instance uh, Mardi Gras or uh, New Orleans which first there was a team going over and then Luckily we had a guy working here that actually came from New Orleans so he took a lot of pictures second time around when we found out exactly what we needed like all these little details like the, the, the door handles and telephone boxes and I mean there are so many things that kind of defines a specific uh, place that uh, we try to, to take as much as possible and uh, integrate it into the game. And we, we had basically had levels all over the world before uh, and uh, there is so many cool things about America that, that, that you know in all its posh glamour and some, sometimes it gets vulgar and all that but it's people know it and people respect it in that, in that awkward way so like the casinos of Vegas and you know, everybody knows the White House and it's all like clouded in mystery and it's, it's just something we didn't do and it's so obvious to do and, and it, would, it was fun to do also. We, we don't only have them in, in the States, we, we, I mean, there is still you know, intercontinental travel in the game but, but we just took all the coolest places in America from the you know deep dark southern uh, places to you know the, the posh parties of, of, of Las Vegas it sort of has it all. The Mardi Gras level is, is very special since uh, it's I mean Mardi Gras is about a lot of people and and that was one of the I mean that was the, the main objective in in that level was to try and achieve that feeling of a lot of people when I was programming the rest of the level, I'd walk into the street and it would just be empty. I had a sort of a placeholder sound of a crowd cheering, but I had no, no idea how it was going to look. And in the end, when we finally got it into the level, it was just, I mean, it was mind-blowing to just walk into the street and there was just people everywhere. This, the system can actually manage 3,000 characters simultaneously on the level. I've Personally, I've never seen anything like that in any previous game. I mean, we have it running on the PlayStation 2 and on the Xbox and the PC, so it's really fantastic. We have, I mean, we have, it's a little bit of a cliche, but it always works pretty well, but we have the, the hunter become the hunted, so we have this, uh, a semi-failed clone who is like tracking down Hitman all throughout the, the storyline and who he of course will have a, a confrontation with at some point point. Um, and and what's really what's really cool about that is is more than than the fact that it's his nemesis and all that it's it's the fact that he's like this dysfunctional uh, clone like he's really really cool he has a lot of this stuff but he's just not stable he's like a, a beta software thing or whatever so you know they, they, these clones they uh, they tend to die of cancer within time and all that so they have this built-in you know anger maybe i don't know jealousy towards him being success so that gives them sort of even though they are also these cold calculated uh, assassins it gives them like a, a, a reason to go after hitman because he is what they can never become there is the other guy who has it all but uh, he, things which are screwed up for him by hitman and that's the, the other nemesis character which is the guy in the wheelchair who sort of is the puppet master behind this whole chase so um, i think there are some really solid characters in this game actually that, that makes the story interesting also because they have some some really basic reasons to wanting to go after uh, <coughs> after 47 that everybody can relate to really easily so um, it's, it's, it's not like artsy-fartsy in that way, it's, it's, it's good 
understandable, cool characters that everybody will relate to. So the, the story will get appealing also if you're not a, a fan, I believe. I don't think you have to know about the previous games to think it's uh, understand the situation and understand where everybody's coming from, actually. Um, and there's also little cut sequences that don't really tell much story, but just hint stuff. Like you have this um, albino character reading an article about where you are now, so you're sort of feeling that he's, uh, he's closing in on you. And of course, in the end, he's gonna, you're gonna meet him in the game and you're gonna have a showdown.